What's up, YouTube? This is Red Zone 101. Quick quiz. Which one of these is a real firearm? Is it this one? Is it this one? Maybe this one? Yeah, that looks real. Or what about this one right here? Well, if you see it, this one, you're absolutely right. That is a Taurus G2C 9mm semi auto. Not loaded. I'll put that back in the holster. <laughs> what we have here are air guns. Um, I collect air guns, I practice with air guns. You know, you can get the fundamentals down, um, practicing good firearm safety with these. Um, during the pandemic, when they closed down the air gun, well, the rifle ranges, um, I basically, you know, I made my own. Um, since I couldn't get to the rifle range, what I did, I just walk out here, I made my own range there. So I practiced with my air guns right there. Going back. Now, the title of this vid is, Would You Use an Air Gun for Self-Defense? I can tell you, an air gun would not be my first choice for self-defense. Even though these look really real, and uh, mine are pretty loud. But again, <laughs> it wouldn't be my first choice, second choice, third or fourth, okay? That said, if it was all I had, and someone was trying to break into the house, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, something is better than nothing. Now, am I advocating using air guns for self-defense? No. No, I would not do that. Now, granted, there are non-lethal self-defense systems out there. Police use them. Um, bean bags, rubber bullets. Um, for uh, civilians, there are these um, CO2 launchers that actually shoot pepper balls, kinetic balls, and and uh, tear gas and what have you and those are very effective I mean they've shown people getting hit with them they hit hard uh, it's a 68 millimeter uh, projectile that comes out of there the hard ones are hard plastic and those suckers are hard enough to bend metal sheet metal that is um, the pepper balls when they hit you trust me they'll bring you to your knees your eyes your nose you can't breathe can't see and they hurt. So yeah, those are non-lethal, but would anybody consider using a regular BB gun or let's say even a pellet gun, air gun for self-defense? Again, I'm not advocating it, but um, there are people that do think that these are viable options for self-defense. Personally, I'd rather have my um, my firearm on me, my, uh, my Taurus G2C or my uh, Glock um, 17 Gen 3 9 mil on me, but that's it. Or I wouldn't mind having my burner. Um, so those are proven. These here, iffy, but some people think that they can be used for that purpose, for self-defense. Again, I'm not saying that they can be. I'm not saying that in a pinch they couldn't be, but, you know, that's up to you to decide. I'm just going to shoot a couple of them and show you what they, and show you, like, what they shoot like and uh they just have some fun with them first one we're gonna do this right here it looks like a beretta 92 fs it's actually a crossman pf am 98 bb pistol and it's got blowback um slide like release if i can okay you know in one sec i'm doing this with one hand actually i have to to pull like the slide back. Well, hold on one second, please. Yeah. Here we go. Now it's ready to fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera up, and we're just going to show me taking some shots with it. I've got on my safety glasses. I got my mask on. I'm social distancing, even though I don't have to. I mean, it's pretty rural out here. I'm going to set my uh, camera up right here. So that you guys can see me, and I've already got a target, a target set up. Let's see. 
let's take a couple of shots. Now this actually shoots semi-auto and full auto. So what's the point of having a full auto BB pistol and not shoot it in full auto? So let's take a couple of shots with it. Here we go. tell you what, I wouldn't want to get hit with that. Let's take a look at the target real quick. It's not the most accurate um, BB pistol out there, but wow, that's a lot of BBs shooting really quick. Um, wouldn't want to get hit with that. Okay, now, okay, and that's my Crossman PFAM 98. Semi-auto full auto BB pistol and it has blowback action it's a great pistol I have a lot of fun with this one now this right here that looks like it's from uh, Wasalian Arms and any of you know, who know who uh, Wasalian Arms are, is let's move my orange <clears throat> Salian Arms is a very high-end customizing company for for uh, handguns uh, they make cutouts and slides gold barrels and all kinds of other things. So this is my uh, Umarex SA-10. And this one here is a really accurate air gun. A lot of fun to shoot, loud, powerful, and it has rotary mag. So we're gonna give that a couple of shots, okay? And it's a blowback. So it's very good for practicing with. Um, not the same recoil that a firearm would have, but it does give you well, some realism there. So let's set up the camera again. And you can see me take a couple of shots with that. The Umarex SA-10. And this is um, a pellet gun, not a beating gun. So rack the slide back, and let's take some shots with it. And that's that. And when you're, I like this one. <laughs> this is one of my favorite. To reload, press the, the magazine uh, disconnect. And it's got rotary mags here. So you just take one out, put another one back in. Be careful, you don't want to lose these. Put the mag back in. Uh, the hammer is already cocked. If you want to, um, to this in, uh, uh, single action. So what you want to do is you hold on to the hammer. You got to be careful. Pull the trigger, holding on. Slowly let the hammer go back and it won't fire. Let's try that again. Just like firearm. Let's do uh, eight more shots. This has eight shots in it. Normally this one would be a lot louder, but I've been shooting it and uh, you only get about really honestly a good I say four No, I can't say that you get about eight good mags with it and Then after that the power drops over drastically, but when it's fully charged with CO2 that bad boy kicks Got a lot of power now this right here is my baby okay, We're gonna move my orange again that's my lunch, part of my lunch. And this is a Dan Wesson 715 replica. So this is made to look just like a Dan Wesson 715. It's a four inch barrel, um, handles just like the real thing. Okay, cylinder, uh, disconnect, and uh, it actually has cartridges that come out like real bullets and uh, this is pellet or BB but I normally no no this is just pellet excuse me normally um, well I do have some that actually shoots BBs and pellets uh, revolvers for that is but this one just shoots pellets the pellets go in the back right here and um, put them in and uh, close it up like a regular revolver functions exactly like one so single action double action 
slowly drop the hammer because I don't want this to fire. So we'll take a couple of shots with this, okay? Okay, here we go. Set the camera back up. Hopefully you guys can see me. And here we go. And that's it. It is a six shot. So that's my Dan Wesson model 715 replica air gun. Now last but not least, and we're going to do a, a test here. It's not going to be very well scientific. This is my, whew, my Crossman. This is my DPMS SBR. And it's made to look like an AR. Functions like a AR. Um, really fun, fun BB gun to shoot. So we're going to take this out back. And I've got some targets set up. We're just going to see how this bad boy performs, okay? So let's step out back here. Yeah, just walk with me. Like my sign here. Notice illegally. Anyway, let's keep it popping. Walk out here. This one is a lot of fun. It's semi-auto and full auto, which is really cool. Okay, let's set up the, the phone here. Take a couple of uh, shots with it. Hopefully you guys can see this. 